this, this you're you're from Jamaica. Yes, I'm Max Arthur Mansell, and I'm an author, Jamaican-born author in, from Jamaica. And my story is a narrative fiction that looks at homophobia in Jamaica. And my and it's called Batty Batty Boy. Batty B W O Y. Yes, Batty Boy. Batty Boy, which is really a negative slur used in Jamaica. To Equivalent to what? Equivalent to fags? Fags, yes. But I have reappropriated it, like Larry Kramer's book, Faggots, in the 1978. Uh -huh. So I'm just trying to like empower uh, LGBT youths to have uh, a better understanding of themselves and telling my story. Well, you seem to have gotten some very nice press. Yes, I did NPR in Miami. I did a couple of uh, press there's a gay and lesbian review article coming out in the next May June issue, so I'm looking forward to that. And and do you get any coverage in Jamaica itself? Yes, I did a radio interview, but the specifics are most of the press is based in America because I live here. But Jamaica is they speak English. Yes, it's but a is British. It, you know, I went to Trinidad. Yes, and as an English speaker. I couldn't understand a word they were saying. Well, at they first. have a dialect. It took about they two a, or three days. They have a dialect. Finally, then I could start understanding what they were saying. But a lot of the Caribbean countries have an English dialect. It's a direct. Is it that way when you first hit Jamaica? Yeah, it's patois. Yeah. I've heard. I've heard the Jamaican accent, but it wasn't as. In, I tell you, I couldn't. I said these people are supposed to be speaking English. Yes. I can't understand. But it <laughs> yeah. took about 24, 48 hours. I finally started. To it's a derivative it all of uh, English. It's, now you were telling me there was a a singer who was putting out songs about killing gay people, and I yeah, remember Buju he had Banton. A, he had a song what called Bumbai Buju Banton. He has a song in from 1992 called Bumbai Bye. It's very horrific. It's like a very hate song about killing gay men. And his what yeah, year was that? 1992. 1992. And it's still played now. It's a very they still play it. Yeah, it's a very hateful song. And they still play it on the yeah. radio. Not a, maybe not a radio, but people in parties and stuff. Is it because it's the beat? Don't you think it's a popular songs? song? Yeah, it's probably the beat, but it's just a whole uh, negative message that it sends, and we, people who are uh, homophobes. They I remember that. they 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 were picketing, or they had his concert canceled. Or yeah, he was uh, censored a lot internationally. I mean, he would travel, and people would uh, boycott his uh, concert. I mean, he's in jail now in Florida for drug. That's possession. what you just told me. Yes. Yeah, so how long has that happened? Like 10 years, he's really he's gonna be released 2018. So karma is a bitch. <laughs> oh really? So it, that he's been in jail for about 10 years. Yeah. Oh. Just about. It's funny you don't hear that that end of the story. Well, you can Google him. <laughs> <laughs> I think most people want to run the other way. All right. Thank and you how, very much. And how is your how how is your book selling? It's coming along. I'm looking for. I'm traveling the country, so uh, is people it, people will find. How it. do you people buy it? Where do they find it? It's a bit uh, wherever I go on my book signings and at, on my website, uh, MaxArthurMantleProjects.com. MaxArthurMantleProjects.com. Project. Project. Yes. How much does it sell for? Twenty-four ninety-five plus but tax. But it's a fictionalized version of your life. Yeah, and it's a literary narrative fiction. I studied journalism, so I put my. And effort is it into is the time frame time frame is like from nineteen sixty-nine to uh, two thousand two. And is it still valid today, or have yes, things it's improved very valid. a bit? It's, it's, uh, it's my personal story, but it's still a lot of the things that have happened now. Because I saw a PBS then. thing where two trans men went home and the pe yes. parents were accepting. Yes. There are people who are uh, more liberal and more educated, and they're, they're privy to uh, changes, and people are not all the same, so that happens now. Right. I had a friend that went to Jamaica. He said he landed in... Uh, he was robbed two times between five and seven o'clock. It was a big crime was problem. Robbed. Well, yeah, there's a uh, econ socio economics. I mean, right. third world countries. And I heard that some of the some of the clubs there, they have you in a resort. You go down an elevator to a beach that nobody can get to. Yeah, the private clubs. Yes. Right. Right. <laughs> okay. Well, good All luck. Right, thank you very much. Thank you.